Well, here we go. Something I didn't think I'd ever be doing. An unboxing. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to the BETT conference in London the other day. Uh, amongst the people I met were the wonderful team from DF Robot, who very kindly gave me a new device to look at. It's called the Uni Hiker. Uh, I don't know very much about it, and what you're seeing here and what you're hearing here is as I discover it. So let's open up and see what we've got. So I'm assuming that's the circuit board. Just put that to one side for now. And we have some connection cables. I'm assuming for sensors. And a USB cable, which is by the looks of it USB C. And on the box itself, if the camera will focus, there's a little description of what, of what the uh, parts of the board are. So let's start with the obvious. Assuming I can get them out of the bag. This is indeed a USB-A to USB-C cable. Presumably for connecting the board to a computer or supply of some sort. Let's get one of the connectors out. If I can, of course. Like so they look like they may be sort of quick connect or stemmer type cables. I'll investigate further. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for the board itself. I'm just going to rip through the label. Try and keep this in focus and in camera because I haven't got a very good camera set up. And here we go. Oops, upside down. Look at the front of the board. At the bottom, there's an edge connector, which looks very much like the micro bit connector. The screen itself, apparently looking at the specifications is a 320 by 240 2.8 inch screen and it's a touch screen looking towards the top of the board on the left there's a small button which they call the home button which is I assume for some sort of menu system on the very top of the board there's a microphone and a light sensor and also the aerial for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. On the right hand side, excuse the noise, we have two more push buttons which I assume can be programmed. Oops, sorry, not the camera. Let's turn the board over. Again, try and keep it in shot. So here we have three I.O. connector which looks similar to the Stemmer QT or Quick connectors. We have a little buzzer here. Again we have the two programmable buttons. On the top here is an I2C connector. There is a USB-C connector. I assume that's for connecting it to power and the computer. But we will investigate that later. On this side, there is the home button. 
There's a type A USB port. There is also a micro USB a micro SD card slot, two more connectors which I assume are IO pins, and there is also apparently according to the plans down here somewhere there is an accelerometer and gyroscope. So it has some sensors built in already has a screen for input and output, means of making noise, and at the top, I forgot to say here, there is the aerial for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Well that's it for my first ever unboxing. Please forgive the very raw quality of the audio and video, but I wanted to get something out on YouTube as soon as possible. In the next video, we will follow the Get Started guide in the wiki, plug the device in, turn it on, and learn from there more about what this device can do.